Alright, how's it going guys? I finally managed to get sheep over here. Amazingly. And I've actually managed to shear them. I had to get them uh, familiar with me to do so. And I'm out of uh, food for them, so as soon as they become unfamiliar again, I won't be able to shear them anymore. But managed to get them over here, managed to get them in the pen. So forget this stupid bed. We are going to make a regular bed today. But I should only need one more of these. Just hopefully I can use that silk one. And then I'll actually have string left to do other shit. Mainly smoking weed. But we're not going to do that today. Because that's going to take a long time to do. Alright. So. We now have three pieces of cloth. Now I need to get some wood and apparently food is important. I'm eating crap at the moment so I got left haven't gone out hunting been too busy hunting for silver so I can make this black bronze. Alright, so let's look up the bed. Now we can also use this cloth to make paintings if we want. Okay, we only need planks. We can also make carpet. Alright. So I have three planks right here. So, that, 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 holy crap, I have a bed. Ah, I can set my damn spawn. And yes, you can see by my uh, chat that I most definitely cheated today. I teleported. I died like five times. And I got tired of the long walk over here. So I teleported myself back to here. So I could get to my stuff. Because I was saving doing this until I had something else. But I had the stuff to actually do it. So I figured it's not quite cheating. Because if I wasn't saving making the bed for... Uh, when I was ready to record, then I wouldn't be coming back here anyways. I'd already be here. So, we now have four levels on our blast furnace. I got that done today, which is a royal pain in the butt. I managed to find more graphite down there in that graphite vein. I need to go back and see if I can find some more. I think I need like one more piece of graphite and I'll have it all taken care of and there was something I wanted to do with leather today that is a quiver so I need to knock out those and those all right so top bottom these three inside. That gives us a quiver. Now if I right click that, I can throw all of these arrows in here. And I do believe, yep, I can even throw the javelin in there. Now you can't put tools or anything like that in there. It's only things that are shootable, throwable. So my arrows will fit in there so I can free up a little bit of my space. 
And if I wanted to carry javelins, I could do that as well. And then the quiver can go right there on my back slot. And they're going to hit that button again. So now I have a nice quiver on my back. And the nice thing about it is the, uh, the bow will pull them right out of there. I did manage to lose my sword today. Had to make a brand new one. Lost most of my armor. Either by breaking it or just losing it when I died. Because I've had one rough day. See, it just pulls it right out because I don't have any in my inventory. So that is awesome. I really like having a quiver. And now that I have it, I actually need to make some extra arrows. Where did I put all my feathers? I have some around here. And the nice thing about the uh, arrows in this is you don't have to have flint. You can use rocks. Uh, I have tons of flint, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. And where is that thing of sticks? There it is. Just give me a whole stack. All right, so let's see if I can remember. Their recipe is a little different because I think you can do it in a 2x2. Two two. Apparently I can't remember. Uh, you really can't use one at all? I thought you could use one. Okay, so apparently you can't. What is more useless than I thought it was. Alright, so give me those. And. 13. That'll give me tons of arrows. Maybe even more than I can fit in my quiver here. Oh, nope, that filled it right up. So there we go. Now. I got plenty of arrows to do shooting with, which would be nice for hunting. Also be nice for dealing with bears. And I need to seriously go find silver somehow. I've been playing around down underneath because I actually have the right um, rock type right below me. But I cannot find it down there. Um, see if I can find my map button here. Uh, well, there's all my deaths that I've had down there. And there's copper that I managed to find down there. So you can see I've definitely died a bunch. And if you look at my, uh, thing I only tore, teleported five times and I died one two three four five six seven so at least twice I walked my ass over here plus I died there and I died once over there so it's four times I walked my ass all the way from over there really a pain in the ass so I cheated a little bit but not too terribly bad damn it where is the right button I think I'd learn these things once in a while. Okay, that's the waypoint one. Can't remember the map one. Uh, anyways, uh, also along with that, it seems that my farmland here is growing crops because my tomatoes are about done. I want to go over here and look and see what I have going on over here. 
I also want to go get some of that fertilizer so I can fertilize all of my crop area. Looks like my sugar cane might be done again. And looks like we've got oats done too. Ooh, we got oats and wheat. Awesome. So I might not lose the familiarity of them sheep. Plus I can make more bread. Because I think I'm getting low on bread anyways. So let's go ahead and trim these off here. And we'll use the uh, wheat for the animals and the uh, oats for me. Let's go ahead and put these back over here. Because I know I had vegetables here pretty recently. Put that one there. And I think I actually got an extra oat. Because I had two oat seeds when I harvested one. So I think you can actually get an extra seed every now and then. Because I haven't been finding much when I've been out running around. I've covered, you know, that huge area looking for sheep. Didn't find one stinking crop. Found my fruit trees, but no crops. And I'm hoping I can get these guys to actually breed. Let's see. Aha! Bred the sheep. Awesome. So now we'll have... I don't know how many sheep you get from one all right and you can see when I did that I actually got where it said pregnant so she is most definitely pregnant now and I still have a little bit of wheat left over and this is more than enough wool to do me for quite a while my piggies are starting to grow. They're getting a little bit bigger. They definitely take a little while to grow up. But it's definitely worth it since I have like 10 freaking new pigs over there now. And today is going to be a kind of short one. Just wanted to get that bed done and get the quiver taken care of. I'll show you guys my sheep I finally got here. I actually had to take them 6,000 blocks across the ocean here. It was quite interesting. I just used the boat and the ropes. Pulled them alongside me. They never broke their rope one time going across the ocean. I did break it a few times on land. Um, but never going across the ocean. And it was funny because they, they looked backwards the whole time. It was quite, quite interesting. And I built this little pavilion. That way when I want to use my grill, I can do so. Even if it's raining. I'm actually thinking about taking this top off and putting, um, planks up there. See if it looks any better. But I think that's pretty decent. So hopefully next time we'll work on smoking some meat. Um, I know it takes forever to do, so I might end up having to do that as a speed up video or might actually have to cut it or something. Um, it takes like three days, I think, to smoke it. And you got to keep sitting there and just feeding charcoal or coal or whatever into it the whole time so it's a real pain in the butt and that's if I can even use charcoal or coal I may have to do logs and therefore it's going to take forever but I am going to get out of here for the night I've had enough of death and destruction and hopefully tomorrow I can come back in here and actually managed to find some silver 
and we can move on to black bronze. So have a good one, everybody.